Hey Scorpio, welcome to your mid-February reading with Wild Pearl Tarot. I really appreciate you being here. Um, if this resonates, subscribe. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to emphasize that so much. I just like the words went away. Um, subscribe, like the video, collaborate with my energy, claim the reading. If it does not resonate, consider checking out your moon sign. That can be really helpful, especially if you were born at night. So... <laughs> Y'all, it's been a day. Scorpio, we're going to start with your career advice. We'll start with uh, career and then we're going to move on to relationship and love. So mid-February for 2023 for our beautiful Scorpios, we have out the three of cups. So this could be celebrations. This could be um, celebrating something at work, um, an achievement. This could be just a really great combination of people. Tell us more. For Scorpios, we have the Wheel of Fortune card coming out upright. So this could be something, an opportunity or something coming back around. But ultimately, the Wheel of Fortune is just confirmation that you are on the right path. You know, karmically, it's a beautiful card to get in a reading. Whoa, those cards really wanted to be heard. And we have a person that comes out here. Might be two people. So we have this King of Cups, somebody who is emotionally manipulative, somebody who is not cool, man. When the King of Cups is upright, they're awesome. But when they're, up, when they're upside down, it's like all their good qualities are backwards. All those feely, emotional qualities of the King of Cups that are so evolved um, come out misunderstood, misread. It's like they're, maybe there's a mis... Yeah, it feels like a misfire. Anyway, so that's an interesting energy. I hear the words ding dong, the witch is dead in my head. Ah, it's only for a few of you guys. And of course, it's not literal death, but it's like almost like somebody's... There's five of cups. What's going on here? Uh, there's an offer here, I think, that was that was denied. Somebody was a little disappointed, but um, I think that, yeah, I feel like it's a good thing in the end, though, because we've got the Queen of Cups here. So it's like maybe at one point these two individuals, cups rule over, you know, the water signs. So the Queen of Cups could be you. For a few of you, maybe King of Cups was you, you know, and you were feeling completely i mean i don't think that's really the reading it feels like queen of cups is you and um at one point you were working really well with another individual you saw eye to eye on a creative and creatively um like your passions were the same you guys could collaborate really well but this person eventually i think i think you had to you had to turn that energy down because it started getting a little toxic um so clarity on the queen of cups please clarity on the queen of yeah queen of cups this is piscean energy something was hidden here it feels like in a choice i feel like there were aspects of another uh, individual that maybe you were working with this is i know really particular so uh, for those that this is resonating with I feel that there was a partnership, somebody you were working with that at one point, like I said, you, you worked with really well, but you were doing better. You were getting ahead and you were realizing that, um, that everything moved more smoothly when their presence wasn't there um, because maybe it snuck up on you, maybe even snuck up on them. For whatever reason, I think they started kind of growing, withholding, and toxic. So it's like you couldn't move forward in the project or you couldn't um, make progress because they were letting their emotions get in the way. I know it's pretty, it's like very specific, but that's what's coming through. And so there's some disappointment. I mean, it's disappointing for them and it's disappointing for you, but it's like undeniably like, uh, you know, I think things have to change. So any clarity on the five of cups? Yeah, so there's this quiet energy. It's like perspective. This is the hangman energy ruled by Pisces. You've got Pisces and uh, energy. you got the water. It's all the water signs here. But 
it's like really falling back on, you know, is this working? How does this feel? And, you know, that's our compass. So it's really good to be practical and logical, but you know, that can steer you right into the water. It's really important if like you're following your intuition here. And so sometimes that takes a sacrifice and that is the meaning of the hanged man is perspective at a cost. The, the sacrifice that comes with that perspective gained by looking at something differently like him, you know, upside down, all the blood rushing to his head. Clarity on this offer, this apathy, this offer. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a tough, it's a tough decision. It's not easy here. I got it. I got it. Anything else on that? Mm -hmm. So we have, um, like doing better, researching more, learning that things can be better. Could be even like realizing that the offer, um, as it stood and this could this might not be literally like somebody making an offer this is like more about energy like working together or something it's just like it could get it could be better you know it could be tighter it could run smoother so clarity um excuse me um advice on that please for my source and arrows advice career and money advice for my scorpios new february 2023 we have out the Nine of Pentacles, this is the Independence card. Trust yourself, trust your experience. And also you're the one that is bringing, you are the one responsible for yourself and your own happiness. And so you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Yeah, Ten of Swords, this is an ending. This is a necessary ending. And it might be surprising to somebody and it might even be hurtful to them, but it's gonna happen anyway. It's just, it, it's been going that direction for a while. You gotta call a spade a spade. King of Rods and Four of Swords. So King of Rods is a big entrepreneurial energy. I think that what's gonna happen immediately after this ending is like, there's the perspective is gonna expand, the opportunities, the vision of where this work or this business or where finances could go, we've got, this gratitude card of the four of swords. So I think there's going to be gratitude there. I think there's going to be like um, an acceptance that things in order to progress forward, you know, you needed to trim the fat, things needed to change a little bit. And immediately you're rewarded with this visionary. The king of rods could be a person, it could be your energy, but ultimately the energy is really embraceive of um, inspiration. It's fiery. It's um, confident, forward moving and fast moving. And it's very much a big picture. Successful. So congratulations on that. Um, I'm going to gather up these cards now. We're going to give you your love reading. So I'll invite you again, if this is resonating, if you're still with me, hit that like button it means so much. Thank you so much. Um, let's give this a shuffle, clarify the deck, love for Scorpio. 2023, mid-February, love for Scorpios. Flipping but not flying, we've got the Three of Pentacles. We're just gonna take note of that. But we need them to fly, and they need to come out on their own. We don't wanna force them. We've got messages coming forward. This could be text messages. This could even be possibly travel for some of you guys. Um, might shake up your world a little bit, you guys. Um, might not be something you totally accept, uh, well, I wanna say expect, but the word accept came through. Let's listen to that. Yeah, it shakes you up, the tower card. That is the shake up card. So, um, you know, with the tower card, I want you to know this about the tower card. It's really one of the coolest cards in the deck because it's truly saying this is out of your hands. There's nothing you can do about it when a tower card comes out. It could be something as quick and unexpected as falling in love. And it could be something as quick and unexpected as, you know, um, an earthquake or a tornado. You know what I mean? It's really outside of your power. But what it is doing is it's the universe's way of being like, we're going to reroute you. This, is, this was not going in a good direction for you. And it might rattle you up. You're going to feel like you're out of control. We're just going to set you on a different path. Okay, so it's like it is still a collaboration with the universe. And we have out 
or manifesting energy. You're going to start all over. You're going to get the opportunity to start all over um, with all of the resources that you need, right? You have everything you t it, that it takes. I think that your vision of what you want is going to become very clear. And this is like a big clean out. Okay, Eight of Wands. So tell me more about this Eight of Wands for my Scorpios. We've got Queen of Cups in reverse. I don't think that this person, for those of you who are working with a person, working with, that's funny. Those of you guys who have been um, in a relationship or co communicating with somebody, they have not been probably as giving or loving or attentive to you as maybe you'd like. Maybe they're leaving breadcrumbing you. Maybe they're leaving you out in the cold a little. Maybe it's like they're going through so much for whatever reason. Maybe I just feel like emotionally, kind of like we saw in your career reading, that, that king upside down. You've got the queen upside down here. So that can be emotionally a little manipulative or a little spiraling out of control, maybe lashing out, being, but being um, emotionally just unbalanced. But they're unstable, and so and I say that because of the four of um, wands in reverse. Some of you guys may have be canceling plans to go to an event together or to a celebration of some sort. I just have to say that because four of wands does talk about gathering celebrations, reunions, weddings, that type of thing sometimes. So yeah, there might be um, just this could be simply um, a bummer situation where like an invitation goes awry, like you guys aren't going to go do this together anymore. But either way, the, the big picture is like this is unstable energy, right? So tell me more about the that flew out and then upside down. So when we take it upside down, which is how it landed, this is like feeling out of control. Like I was saying, this is the Emperor card, Aries energy. This is the big boss. This is feeling in control of your life, being your own emperor, and this came out upside down. So there might be some feeling out of control, somebody else kind of whipping the control away um, by way of spiraling emotionally. And um, I think you're going to be, the, this is going to be a time where you are going to fall back on your intuition, and your intuition is going to be really sharp. It's going to steer you straight. Anything on this tower card? Cool. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups. This is something nostalgic, something familiar. A choice maybe with somebody familiar. So this could be the same person that you are traveling to or getting messages from. That's the Eight of Wands energy there. But I do think that... Um, this is King of Cups, please. In the wake of this thing that shakes you up, beautiful. I feel like it's a family member, somebody, or like it could be an older brother or sister. This could be an, a dad, or a mother, somebody who, or an old friend, somebody who's really emotionally mature. So they speak your language. They're going to come out and help you. Okay, two of cups. It's like there's this bond, there's this beautiful twin flame energy. And you, it might be because they can relate more than you realize. They're going to be coming out of the woodwork. And it's good. they're going to make a decision a little easier. Very interesting reading. What's this magician? Uh-huh. I think you're getting, like I said, the magician, like you're clearing things out. You're going to be able to start brand new. I think you're going to be um, doubling down on trust. You've got the deception card. I think you're going to be seeing really clearly. Anything else? I think that that's it. Anything else? Yeah, temperance, transformation, Sagittarius energy. This is about balance, rebalancing. Even in the material world, whatever might be out of balance right now, just... Auto correct a little bit just to make yourself feel smoother. Um, you know, this could be food, alcohol, sleep. If you can kind of just find balance there, that'll help everything else. But also, this is a bigger, bigger meaning, and that is that there's a bigger transformation happening here. It has something to do with what you're going to be creating in the next chapter of your life. So we're already looking at what's next. 
things. You are going to be building something new. And I wouldn't be surprised in your future readings if we start seeing the Fool card, if we start seeing um, Aces, you know, those opportunities, you know, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, all that. Fascinating. Yeah, but I love this king, whoever this King of Cups is, somebody who's really wise and emotionally really balanced, and they're going to be able to give you advice. They're going to be able to give you shelter emotionally. I feel like I've used the word emotionally a lot in this reading, but I know you can handle it because you're Scorpios. <laughs> All right. I love you guys, and um, I'll talk to you very soon for your next readings. Please stay tuned. Hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss one.